Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So <clears throat> I have a Bath and Body Works haul for you um, and for me. <laughs> it's so funny because over the summer I was, which we're still in summer, but I've been like, you know, I am done with Bath and Body Works for a while. I need to use up everything that's in my stash. I need to work through it. I'm not going to buy any more. Keep telling yourself that kid, right? So last week, uh, no, it wasn't last week. It was a week ago. It was almost two weeks ago on a Friday. I had been, I was staying with my mom. I'd gone to visit her for uh, uh, almost a week. And um, I saw that some of the new fall stuff, fall one line or whatever, had launched. And I was like, oh, give me that, give me that, give me that, give me that. <laughs> so, so I placed a pretty big order. And then also uh, my mom and I actually went in store to Bath and Body Works. So, so um, I picked up some things and I thought you might want to see what I got and hear my thoughts on a few things. Um, first of all, I did grab, because I'm all about the Halloween stuff, like I am so into Halloween right now, it's pitiful. So I did pick up the um, Wicked Apple uh, Gel, gentle, gentle Gel Hand Soap. So I got the Wicked Apple, really cute packaging with the ghosts and everything on it. Super, super cute. And then, where's my glasses? I can read you the notes of everything if I put my glasses on. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to see, right? Um, okay, so Wicked Apple says it is apple, Chris, ghostly green apple, Creepy caramel drizzle and vicious vanilla beans. So that is the uh, Wicked Apple. Really cute packaging on that one. And then I got the Happy Halloween Candy Corn Marshmallow Foaming Soap. Look at the pretty... Isn't that pretty? Really, really pretty. Um, I never have... This is the first foaming soap that I bought. Um, Mar Mysterious Marshmallow Fluff, Candy Corn, and Sweet Orange. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I think I'll probably pick up some more Halloween soaps. We don't usually, I don't usually buy those anymore. I used to, and I stopped because I feel so guilty about the packaging being wasteful. Even though I do recycle, um, I just feel guilty. So we actually, most of the time, use bar soap um, if, to wash our hands with. And um, I really enjoy that, but it's okay once in a while. You know what I'm saying? So I might pick up a few more um, of those. And then um, also that's Halloween. I went when I went in store with my mom I got the pumpkin carving candle the three wick so because I love the packaging it is so pretty I don't know if you can really see I know there's a glare and then the lid has like a spider web on it really really pretty and um, the wax is white I believe yes white wax on there and it smells so nice it smells really really nice it's very pumpkin-y. The lid even has the um, spider web on the inside, too, so that's nice. And the notes on it are freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, smooth brown sugar. But um, it's really, really nice, and I, I just... I, I love the packaging. Of all the Halloween candles that they have this year, this packaging really, really appealed to me the most. So I grabbed that. I have some other Halloween candles, though, I'll be honest with you, from Goose Creek, that my husband got me for Christmas to that I didn't get um, during the Halloween season there, and those are so wonderful. <clears throat> I can't wait to burn them. So this is probably the only one I'm picking up um, from Bath & Body Works for Halloween. Or probably even fall in general. So then also in the Halloween vein, I saw that they had the um, Wicked Vanilla Woods bath and, or two-in-one body wash and bubble bath. And look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? It's like pearlescent and it's like a gray, green, purple kind of um, thing. And the notes on it are magical vanilla, Glowing Amberwood Enchanted Pink Pepper. 
Okay, and then they also had the body spray available with it um, at that time. They do have the cream now available, and I think, as far as I know, now here's what it said. It said online that these were online only, but if you follow Bath & Body Works people on Instagram, I have seen people posting pictures of it available in their stores. So I don't know. I, I It said it was online only or online exclusive, but then it started popping up, so we'll see. Um, but the packaging on this, really, really pretty. It's got like a lacy pattern. And it's kind of holographic but here is the thing this is too it's too peppery for me it's it's lovely it's lovely so I get the vanilla especially in the dry down like later it's very long lasting it's very 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 long lasting um, the spray is because I haven't used the shower gel yet and I didn't purchase the the cream but um at the end of the day I pick up the vanilla and a slight bit of the amber woods, but it's just too peppery for me originally. So Keith gets this, and he actually really likes it. Um, he really, really likes it a lot. He he smelled both of them, and he's like, "Yeah, I'll take them." So here's what's funny about this: if you are one of my Avon customers, or you are a person who uses Avon, this is a very similar to the Avon Cologne True Gent, which was just discontinued. So if you are a fan of the True Gent, here you go. Or if you have still some of the True Gent Cologne and you need a, a shower gel to go with, pick up some of these. I can't believe how much, I don't want to say it's a total dupe because this is a little bit more peppery to me than the True Gent. And the True Gent is a little bit more smooth. Um, but so similar, so similar. So yeah, Keith was really happy. I was like, I was like, hey, do you want this? You can have it. It's too much for me. And I said, and then I told him like all the other stuff I got. And I said, so it doesn't, I'm not going to be missing this. And he's like, well, as long as it's not going to put you out. Because <laughs> I got so much other stuff. So yeah, it's kind of funny. But I love the packaging. I love that it's a Halloween themed fragrance. And I knew that would appeal to him too. And um, yeah, it's just made him really happy to have that. So I'm, I, don't, I might pick him up another shower gel or two just to use because it, it does smell so much like the True Gent that he can use it as a layering thing with those. Um... But I know this will probably be out of stock soon. So if I'm going to do that, I need to get off my butt and do it. Okay. Um, what else did I get? I got some home fragrance sprays. I got three of them because they were three for 20 um, at the time. And so I grabbed one pumpkin cupcake. Look how cute the design is on that. So that is pumpkin cupcake. And does it have the notes on it? Um, no, it doesn't have the notes on this, but I can tell you what the pumpkin cupcake body care says. So this, um, you can definitely smell the pumpkin in it, but it's got some vanilla, like buttercream or sweetness to it too. It's nice. But, the, and then the other ones I got were both white pumpkin. So I am a, this one got kind of wonky, banged up in the box. It's a little crooked. I am a white pumpkin addict. Um, I have discovered that white pumpkin is my thing. It is my favorite scent, and last year I got one of the um, room sprays, and by the time I realized how much I loved it, they were already on to Christmas, and I couldn't get any more of them. And uh, I thought about picking it up on eBay, but I was like, you know what, it'll come back next fall. And it has. So nice. This is such a comforting scent to me. I absolutely love it. And again, I can't, I don't know what the scent notes are. Um... But I have the candles from last year. I bought two of the candles, and I burned one of them, and I still have one left. But this is so nice. It's it's like white pumpkin, um, a little bit of spice, like maybe some nutmeg or brown sugar. It is so comforting to me. It is a scent that I will use all year long because it is my happy place. <laughs> I'm like, when I'm feeling stressed, he's like, you're such a nut. When I'm feeling stressed or anything, I'm like, where's my white pumpkin? <laughs> breathe in my white pumpkin <laughs> so yeah so I got two of those and that should last me through the season and into next year and everything so I'll be all good in the hood with that I have a where is it I don't see it oh here it is I also had a coupon for a free item when I went in store with my mom so I grabbed a pumpkin cupcake hand cream and I've been using that uh so does this have the notes on it no no, but this smells really good and I've been using it. This is pretty light though. Um, sometimes the hand creams are a little bit 
strong, but this one isn't. This one's fairly mellow, and um, it doesn't exactly smell like the body care, but um, still smells really good. So I got that one for my freebie. Um, and then uh, when I purchased all the big stuff, I had 20% off coupon too, so I could use that online. So then I grabbed the pumpkin cupcake body care. So here is the lotion, and I don't know why I didn't get the... Um, why I didn't get the um, cream, because usually I do, but for this one, for whatever reason, I went for the lotion. Whipped buttercream, pumpkin spice, and vanilla cake batter. Yum! So then I also grabbed the... Where's the shower gel for that one? Oh, here it is. It's green, which I think is kind of weird, right? Kind of weird, but it's cute anyways. So that's the shower gel, and then I did get the body spray in that too, the body mist really really nice and then I had to get some a marshmallow pumpkin latte um I had already picked up pumpkin pecan waffles in the body here I should have pulled, pulled that out to show you guys I purchased that like when it very first showed up like I was on it so I, I do have that in the body care and I also have it in the room spray but I did pick up the marshmallow pumpkin latte this time with this order <clears throat> and it is pumpkin latte toasted marshmallows and creamy sandalwood and praline musk so I got the shower gel the a body cream in this one and the spray and then excuse me and then I was so excited because of the blueberry sugar pancakes so my all-time favorite fragrance from Bath and Body Works it used to be vanilla bean noel I would tell you hands down vanilla bean noel that's my jam that's my thing I love it I wore I you would wear all year long I absolutely loved it got enough every Christmas time to last me throughout the year I loved it loved it loved it and then in 2019 they came out with Santa's blueberry shortbread and it took my um, vanilla bean noel shoot out the window so I love Santa's blueberry shortbread and um, I'm just now I used my shower gel today I probably got like this much left in my shower gel I have half a bottle of cream left and a good amount of my body spray well at least half a bottle of body spray left but I'm like I miss it I'm gonna miss it so much so I'm hoping they bring it back at Christmas time but when I saw that they had the blueberry sugar pancakes I was like okay I'm gonna give this a shot and see if it's anything similar so the notes on this are sugared blueberry fresh pancakes and caramel cream drizzle it is not like the here's the body cream it is not like ooh, my nails match how fun is that it is not like the Santa's blueberry shortbread but it still smells really good. The blueberry note in this is more blueberry than in the blueberry shortbread one. It's not as tart. It's not as berry in the blueberry uh, shortbread. This is still good though. It's but this is less bakery than the blueberry shortbread one. And but this is still really really good and I'm glad I have it and it will satisfy me until I can get the blueberry shortbread again. So I did get the body mist too. Um all the packaging on this is really cute. So yeah. So that's my haul. It's kind of a big one, I know. And I I should have pulled out those uh pumpkin pecan waffle body care to show you guys, but I forgot about it. I haven't used it yet. It's still in um wrapped up or it's still in the packaging. Not used anyways is what I'm trying to say. Um but I really, really like it a lot. And so I definitely was able to spare Keith the stuff out of my collection. <laughs> I'm definitely not hurting for Bath and Body Works, you know what I mean? But I'm um, really, really excited. So this is, I guess, Fall 1, and then they have Fall 2, and I guess, do they have a Fall 3? I don't really know how that works. But I have read what they have um, in store for us for Fall 2. And um, overall, there's not anything that I'm, like, super excited about. Two things that, that I do like, though, in that line are ones I've already had previously, and that is Sweet Whiskey, which I really like the Sweet Whiskey, but I don't need any of that because I still have some left over from last spring was it spring last fall winter I don't know anyways I've got some but they are going to have bonfire bash which kind of surprised me because they ran bonfire bash in the summertime and so I didn't expect to see it this fall but I, just, I saw that it's on the list and um I do not need a spray but I could use another shower gel um, I don't have a shower gel in bonfire bash and I um don't have body cream I've used that up so I would be excited to get that so I'm hoping that it pops up soon I could get the um, bonfire bash 
um, body cream and shower gel and then pick up if the special there by two get one free or whatever I can get Keith another wicked vanilla woods uh, shower gel so that is my haul um, I don't know what you guys have been hauling for Bath and Body Works I was so like this is ridiculous I almost almost filmed a video that I was gonna call how I broke my Bath and Body Works addiction <laughs> Seriously, I was going to call it that. How I Broke My Bath and Body Works addition, because, Addiction. Because what I did was I unfollowed everybody. I unfollowed every single Bath and Body Works account that I had on my social media. And I completely ignored it. And then somehow, I think it showed up in a suggested YouTube video. Like on your homepage, you know how it suggests videos for you? I think it suggested a video from Queen of the Girl Geeks from Bonnie and she was talking about the uh, blueberry the the blueberry and the pumpkin cup cupcake and the wicked vanilla woods and all that being online and I'm like I was at my mom's and I was kind of bored and I'm like okay I'll watch the video so I watched it add to cart add to cart add to cart add to cart bloop then two days later, it, the shipping was really fast. I ordered it on a Friday and it came on Tuesday. So I was like telling my husband, cause, uh, I'm like, there's going to be a Bath and Body Works order coming. <laughs> it's going to be ginormous. What can you do? What can you do? It brings me joy <laughs> and it smells good. Nice smell good. So yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed my Bath and Body Works video. Um, yeah, I haven't done one in a while, so kind of fun. And now I gotta get crack lacking and using all this stuff up. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jean? So, all right, but I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. What are you guys crushing on? What are you waiting to get? Like, seriously, there's not anything. I always say that, but really, this Christmas time, I'm hoping for more blueberry shortbread. But I don't really have anything specific in mind because I still have so much stuff, you know? I got so much stuff. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of it. So I know, I know first world problems, right? Absolutely. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like, and subscribe if you want to. Um, and I will see you in the next video.